Hey, how you doing guys? Um, I'm going to bring this up. Um, my last video, uh, somebody came out and said, Hey, how you check, uh, what do you mean? How you check your water in the tank? Uh, you know, how you do that, you know? And uh, I'm going to give you a little rundown how I do it or how, or how it's done. Okay, or how people do it. First of all, you need a table. Sometimes, um, sometimes uh, you run to this scenario, right? Where, let's say, somebody's selling the house. Okay, so now, by law, over here in Connecticut, I don't know how it's in another state, but in Connecticut over here, let's say you got a half a tank oil left when you sell the house the customer whoever buy the house it's got to pay you for the oil okay so from time from, from time to time I get this call where I just got to go hey uh, hey Elvin you got to go and, and check this tank out see how many gallons they got left in the tank because the sell people or the lawyer they want to know how many inches so they go reimburse the new homeowner okay so that's one thing that I do that's uh, so for that we use a table like this uh, where they got all the inches over here this is a you have a, a long stick with numbers like all inches one two three four up to 72 inches okay so let's say I get a call uh, and it's a residential home right uh, pretty much standard would be 275 okay so 275 uh, is flat or it's a uh, uh, vertical you know um, straight up um, and you got to find out which type of tank you got because they, sometimes they make those flat tank and the, and the one is straight up so let's say you got okay you go into the house you, you stick the tank and you find out that you got you know you so type the, the board like this a rule like, like this you, you will use for a long one and uh, let's say you find out they got 14 14 inches so if you get they got a flat tank 14 inches uh, would be they will have 243 gallons right over here 243 gallon okay 243 so that's how they check and then you this uh, paper you got to fill out and submit it back to the office and they they send it to the lawyer or whatever do the closing of the house so that way that's how they know and same thing apply to all the thing the thing it could be a 500 gallon tank see over here on the top it could be a thousand gallon tank it could be a two thousand two thousand gallon tank it could be three thousand same thing applying okay now um that's how fun that's how I find when I when I go to a, do a job like a tank a new install um, sometimes I run to this scenario where the tank is in the ground and the customer want to find out how much oil they got left so after I pump 275 to the new tank that I installed inside the house they want to find out okay how much oil I got left so Again, I stick the tank, find out how many inches I got, and I come to here to this little table, okay, and I find out how many inches, and then I go across, and that depending what side tank, in ground tank over here, typical is a 500 or 550. Yeah, they have a thousand gallon for residential. They got 500, 550, uh, and thousand gallon tank. So I stick and that's how I find out how much oil is left over the tank after I do the job, I transfer all the new oil to the new tank and stuff like that. Okay, um, now, 
how I found out that's another question uh, uh, guys send me a question say there uh, how you how you find out if there was water in the tank so we're gonna do a little bit of test over here now we're gonna put this away okay and I'm gonna show you how how I how how it's done so they got this thing over here it's called uh, I guess this was it's made for begging it's called water finding paste water finding paste that's what they call some kind of green stuff I'm gonna open over here let me see if I'll get it open okay and you got to see how it look okay so what you do when you when we go when we are gonna check for water in the tank we put a trace of this stuff in the rule like this down down the rule here okay and then you go ahead you stick this thing in the oil tank right and if there's any water sign of water in the oil tank this this green thing it will turn purple the color will be like a purple color okay so we're going to do a test matter of fact i got some little water over here and i show you how how it work i'm going to put i don't know if you're going to be able to see because uh, i don't want to bring my older my older uh, thing that i use usually i use but you will see, you you probably will see over here how this thing gonna work okay right so i put that paste there and uh okay and this uh, this go all the way down to the bottom of the tank let me clean myself here because i did a, i did a mess over here with this now all right so so let's say it's water in the tank right say so you stick the tank you don't know if it's water or not so now you're going to find out if it's water so now what you do over here we're going to get some little water that's why i put this plastic over here and you're going to see the color this the reaction that this is going to get when uh when water is pressing so watch it now man of you see even you see the water you see the you see how it changed this is just a little bit too a little bit water that i put in look i just have a little trace and you guys could see it how uh the color change and that's right there see tell you right there it would change it's hard to see because the color is the ruler that I got over here. But it did change from green to the purple color. I don't know if you guys could see it right there. It ran right out. You see the purple? That will stay in the thing. You see? That's how we know, find out. Um they usually do this like a lot of gas station uh every month uh you probably see somebody out out on the gas station with uh with a big long stick checking those the gas tank those big tank in the gas station that's what they do they uh they check for water they have to i think I believe every month they gotta get checked for water could happen in condensation built up and uh that's how they check if they find any water they have to call somebody with a special machine they will go in the bottom of the tank and they will suck all that water out all right and every month they do that and um we do the same thing with the oil okay uh can hardly see in the camera show like a black but basically it's like a purple turn turn out to be like a purple but if you look in the camera it's all like black but it usually is purple color so let me wipe this thing down because i just i just ruined my wife down i think she used this for something i don't know so so you could see right there 
anyway you can see the the way the water change the color so that's how we check it guys maybe next time I um, I got the video I don't The last video that I did, I was checking the tank and uh, I found no no water. I did stick the tank, but it was no sign. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And it was, I thought it was a lot of water in that tank, but uh, ended up with no sign of water. And that's how and that's how we checked it. And you can see over here, it turned the color. And this thing was green. And that's how we check, that's how, that's how we, we check this stuff. The oil tank, the in-ground tank, we do check the in-ground tank for water. Because now I got to throw this away before I get it uh, in my new thing over here. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. And I did that just for people who will say, why this go? How this guy do that? How this guy do it? So you know, guy, how we do it now. Okay, so I'll check you out in the next one. Bye.